Hey, y'all. Long time no see. I'm sorry. I did not mean to take this long of a break. But the week before last, I had a short week and I was super busy with work because I was flying to Daytona, Florida with Kings Hawaiian. They flew Cody and I out along with some other creators and we got to go to a NASCAR race because Kings Hawaiian is sponsoring a driver and it was the coolest experience ever. However, Cody and I didn't bring home just memories. We also brought home COVID as a souvenir. So, for the past week and a half, we've been dealing with that. It knocked me down pretty good for a couple of days. But we're back in action. I still have a little bit of a cough here and there, so I'm going to try and cut those out of the video. But, that is what's been going on. I'm finally feeling mostly back to normal. So, today we're doing a productive day in the life vlog. It could be one day, it could be two days. I really don't know yet, but I'm going to bring y'all along with me. Also, this morning, I've been scared to step on the scale because while I'm sick, I did not eat the best. But my appetite was a lot less while I was hacking up my lungs. I am the lowest weight I have been in probably 10 years since I graduated high school. I cannot believe it. I've lost close to 24 pounds now and that is just absolutely mind blowing. Anyways, y'all are caught up on all of my news and we're headed to go run some errands this morning and knock those out. So let's go. First stop this morning is the vet to pick up some flea pills. Well, that was a quick way to spend $200 on flea pills for three animals. Fun. Next stop is the bank because I need to pull out some cash. And what's really fun is my arms are too short so I get to crawl out the window to pull out cash. Fun. Next stop is Tractor Supply to get some cat food for the outside kitties. Got the cat food and look at these little Halloween chickens. Oh my golly, I love them. I need this so bad. Holy moly. Good morning to the three carport kitties. We got those two. Then we got this guy. He's come around every once in a while for months. But I started feeding wet food at night and now he stays here all the time. The only issue is I'm kind of concerned I've stolen someone's cat. He's a neutered male without a tip deer. So he was at one point or still is somebody's cat. And he's just happy as a clam. Did I steal you? I know I didn't steal you. Every day I have a little list where I write out the things that I'm going to do for the day or the things I need to film. So here's my little to-do list we got going on. Already started checking some things off. Over here I write down what I'm eating for breakfast and lunch and what recipes I'm filming today. This is just kind of some extra messages for myself. But yeah, we've started marking them off and let's keep on going. I love in the mornings when I can walk out here and catch the birds sunbathing. It is so cute. There's another one over here. She's just relaxing in the sunshine, looking dead as ever. It always scares me because I'm like, are they dead or sunbathing? They're just sunbathing. We got these two over here, soaking up the sun. Isn't that just so cute? I love watching them sunbathe. Just brought in 
a bag of chicken feed out into the backyard because the birds are hungry and I've been lazy this morning. Watch what this dumb dog does every time I scoop feed. When I dump it in here, he always goes in for a bite. Cooper! I guess he thinks he's a chicken. Get out of there, get, 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 get. Heading into H-E-B for my 1 p.m. grocery pickup. Yeehaw, this is the best thing since sliced bread that I can just pick up the groceries. I'm home from my grocery pickup and I thought I'd do a quick little grocery haul. We got some chicken and some bacon. I'm gonna do some jalapeno popper stuffed chicken as a recipe on my grilling page. So check that out. I've got some cabbage for the chickens. I got some boar's head chipotle chicken breast cause it is 120 and we're about to make a sandwich with this. Some raspberries, some green leaf lettuce, some spring mix for the bunnies. I grabbed some bread, some apple juice, cause I'm smoking a turkey breast tomorrow. I gotta make a brine for it. This, this was an impulse purchase. I don't know, it was like, don't you need zero sugar pumpkin spice coffee creamer? And I said, yes, yes I do. And then I saw these also, and we're gonna have some sun chips and raspberries with our sandwich. So. Let's put this away and then we're gonna make some lunch. All right, y'all, it's sandwich time and my stomach is rumbling just thinking about the meal I am about to eat. I am so hungry all of a sudden. This is the bread I'm using. I don't know why it caught my eye when I ordered groceries earlier, but I'm just gonna do two slices of bread. Now I have this boar's head chipotle chicken lunch meat that I had sliced today. So we're just gonna pile on some chicken. I like a thick, hearty sandwich, so we're gonna put a lot of meat on there. Now add a slice of this Monterey Jack cheese, and I'm gonna go stick this in the toaster oven. While the sandwich is toasting, we're gonna make ourselves a little coffee drink. To be fully transparent, when I was out running errands a little while ago, I went to Starbucks, but then there was like 12 cars in line. So I drove my butt home and brewed a cup of coffee to start cooling. My little hyper chiller, it cracked. So I don't think I'm gonna recommend those anymore because that is the second time it has cracked. They've always sent me a new one when it cracks, but still very annoying. So I brewed this like two hours ago, so it's cool. And I am just gonna dump that over some ice. And of course I spilled some on the floor. To make this a very fall inspired iced coffee, I have this pumpkin spice latte skinny syrup. I'm gonna do two pumps of that into my coffee, along with a little splash of the pumpkin spice coffee creamer. I never buy coffee creamers. I think it's a waste of calories and carbs, but I couldn't help it. So we're just gonna add a little splash of of that. And we've got us a pumpkin iced coffee. Mmm, that tastes like fall. I love it. Just pulled my sandwich out of the toaster oven and it's nice and warm. And now I have an avocado that I'm gonna spread on one side, or part of an avocado, not a whole avocado. A little pepper and some salt on the avocado. And lastly, some green leaf lettuce. Put the top on and we've got ourselves a sandwich. Like I've mentioned in some of my previous videos, I am doing intermittent fasting. So it is 1.40 and I'm just breaking my fast with a couple sips of iced coffee I had a few minutes ago. But I've got my sandwich, which looks amazing. I got some raspberries and then I weighed out a serving of those little mini sun chips, which that is a lot for a serving. So heck yeah, I just wanted a little crunchy crunch. So that is my lunch. Just popping back in to tell you that that sandwich was a 10 out of 10. It was so good. I'm probably gonna eat it tomorrow. It was just outstanding. Highly recommend making it at home. But it is 1.55 and in just a few minutes, my housekeeper is gonna be here. I don't know if I've told y'all that I hired a housekeeper, 
but I've had her coming since like January once a week for like two hours just to help me keep the place tidy mop the floors because one thing about me I am awful at cleaning and another thing about me I don't have a lot of time in my day and I've realized that hiring out help in some places in my life can truly just make my life so much better. I am so thankful for her because it forces me to do a big pickup of the house. She kind of helps me get everything clean and having a clean picked up space just does wonders for my brain. Wonders. So she will be here soon. I am about to go do some computer work and I need to film a recipe. I'll see you when I see you. It is so dang hot in Texas. We have had relentless heat for months on end. As you can tell, the whole flock just about is pressed up against this side of the coop where I have a mister running. And it's so funny because they'll just stand there and get soaking wet under the water. But so far, it's kept them all alive when some people have been losing birds because of this heat over and over again. So I've been so lucky to keep them all alive. But hopefully we're gonna get a break from this heat real soon. They just gotta hang on a couple more days. Are you happy, Bo? Come on, let's go. The last hour and a half or so, I spent getting some stuff done on my to-do list. I changed the bedding on our bed. I put away a bunch of socks that I've been procrastinating putting away because I hate sorting socks, but I did it. And I found all the socks that don't have a partner. But I gotta show you what came in the mail. I am so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. You ready for it? You ready? Oh my golly. Look at this. Look at this. If I can get it out of the box. Oh, I got a YouTube plaque. My second one ever. This is from my second channel, Girl Gone Grilling. I surpassed 100,000 subscribers on that channel as well, which is absolutely mind-blowing. And I got a plaque. YouTube sends you a plaque when you reach 100,000 subscribers, and I am just over the moon to not have only received one, but two now. I'm so excited. That is just the coolest thing ever. It's now a little past six, and I'm feeling kind of snacky, so until I cook dinner here in just a little while, this is going to be my little snack to hold me over. I am doing a cheese stick and half of one of these level one protein bars. This is the choco chip cookie dough. I cut it in half because I don't really need to eat that many calories before we eat dinner in an hour or so, but I need something to hold me over. So that's gonna be my little snack. I gotta show y'all what's going on in my laundry room right now. I have this little chick that hatched out in my big coop out there a couple of months ago now. Well, it's always had some neuro problems, and the other day, I guess it had a seizure, and one of the bigger hens about killed it. I didn't think it was going to live, but I nursed it back to health, and it definitely has some, some neuro problems, but we're just going to let her live her best life for as long as possible. But she was in here just yelling really sad and lonely, so I picked her up a friend. There's another breeder in town who breeds Saramas and just happened to have a little lady to be her friend. They're still figuring each other out, so I have this in the middle. But just look at how cute this little lady is. You wanna say hello? Oh, come here. Look at her, she's so cute and tiny. So just what I needed, another chicken, a cute little lady. But yeah, that's what's going on in here. Catherine, the girl who has to save all the birds, even the ones a little wonky in the brain. <laughs> Yesterday, I went to Ulta and I thought I'd do a little haul of what I got. Also, side note, I made a little short, I think is what they're called on YouTube, about these Impress Press-On Falsies. You can buy them at Ulta. 
these things are awesome don't pay attention to the fact that i've like worn them all and they're crazy but you just like pop them on like a sticker underneath your eyelashes and it is the best thing ever they're kind of expensive but i like to have them on hand for special occasions but let's see at ulta i got some makeup sponges i've been using these real technique sponges for like years now um i've seen all the girlies on tiktok have this overpriced hand sanitizer and uh i bought it ten dollars for this this watermelon spray hand sanitizer it was like right by the register and i was like oh my god it's so cute i love it why did i spend ten dollars on that because i'm stupid anyways um uh sparkle i love things that sparkle so whenever i saw this like shimmer sparkling gel wash I, I bought it because look at it it's just this shimmery beautiful body wash did i need it no but it's glittery so i bought it uh what's next i needed some new micellar cleansing water this is the best stuff to remove makeup this is mine that is almost out which is why i bought another one and then last but certainly not least overpriced face moisturizer which this brand they sold me because i just love their packaging this drunk elephant this is the retro whipped cream i like this because they advertise it that you can put like your serums in here and so you can mix your moisturizer with your serums and then apply it to your face because of this like applicator i don't know i spent way too much money on that but they got me i like the packaging and i like the brand so that is what i picked up at ulta are y'all just soaking up the sun you soaking up the sun baby bubble you working on your tan pooper it's about seven o'clock now cody just got home reason for the hair change also i went and took a picture outside with my little youtube plaque so i curled my hair to take the photo anyways for dinner tonight we are making big mac burger bowls i'm gonna brown some ground beef cook some onion make a big mac sauce I think I'm going to roast some of these little golden potatoes. I diced up these potatoes into little cubes because I hope it'll make it cook quicker. To season these, I'm going to add a little avocado oil and some of my favorite Everglades seasoning. Do a little sprinkle, a little sprinkle of that. And I'm just going to toss this together and I have my little toaster oven preheated to 375. And we're just going to let these roll, stirring every 15 minutes until they're done. I've got two pounds of ground beef, and I'm going to start browning this in a skillet. Cody's working on browning the ground beef, and I have some diced white onion. And I'm just going to put that over here and start just cooking it a little bit, because I don't like to use raw onion. Cody has this ground beef just about cooked. I'll drain off the excess grease in just a minute. I'm gonna add in some garlic powder, some onion powder, some pepper, and some salt. To make the Big Mac sauce, I used a half of a cup or so of light mayo, a couple tablespoons of sugar-free ketchup, a tablespoon of mustard, I did a lot of dill relish because I love pickles. I did a tablespoon of white vinegar, some onion powder, some paprika, and a little bit of salt. I mixed that all together and I made it in this container so I could easily just stick it back in the fridge. And y'all, it turned out so freaking good. So we've got our caramelized onion, our roasted potatoes, our ground beef, the Big Mac sauce, some shredded cheddar, and some iceberg lettuce. Let's assemble it all together. Let's add some lettuce, some ground beef, the onion, some cheese. I'm gonna spoon on some of my Big Mac sauce. And lastly, some potatoes. And there you have the Big Mac bowl. 
I have been out here in the backyard putting away the chickens. It's about 9.15 now. Gotta say, the Big Mac Burger Bowls got a 10 out of 10 from both Cody and I. They were very good. After dinner, I found one of my chickens not doing so hot. I've been trying to nurse her back to health for like a month. So I was doing some stuff with her and now all of a sudden it's 9.15. But I'm about to walk inside and Cody and I are gonna go start watching the new season of Virgin River and I'm so excited. So hopefully the chicken makes it through the night. I honestly don't know at this point. I've done everything I can, so it sucks. Chickens are the animals that want to die like the most. Like I swear you can just look at them wrong and they're just gonna like, it's fine. Why do I love them so much? Gotta feed the kitties. You are so pushy, man. These two still won't let me pet them. But man, do they beg for their food. And you, you're pushy. My God, hold on. This is my geriatric possum. Hey, little possum. It's so old, I don't think it even knows I am literally six inches from it. Are you hungry, little guy? Oh, little possum. You're okay. Do you want me to go get you some food? I feel kind of bad for you. Look how ugly it is, but it's so cute at the same time. Hey guys, it is now the next day. Unfortunately, this morning, I lost that little hen that I was trying to save. I'm so upset about it, but I can't say I didn't try. I have been giving her an assortment of meds for over a month, and we just couldn't figure out what was going on. Anyways, today I have just been busy getting some stuff done and I figure I'm just going to go ahead and wrap up the vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below and I'll see y'all again real soon. Bye guys!